What's up, everybody? My name is Commander Josh Hawkins, and welcome to the For the Joy of Exploration Part 11 live stream. Your eyes do not deceive you. I am playing Elite Dangerous. That's right. It is Thursday. It is. Oh my gosh. I, I just hear the game like blasting through my speakers right now. So hang on just one second. And there we go. It's Thursday. It is a little late in the evening for many of you uh, European folks. I imagine most of you are probably already asleep, but for us non-Europeans, you know, the American peoples over here and uh, the other half of the world, um, well, we're awake. It's, uh, it's 7 o'clock. Most of you have probably just finished supper, and I see that there's some people in chat already. First, <laughs> first boy, Jay Funky, you are the first one, so congratulations for being first. Dana Master, August Dark, Phantom Task, Commander High Tones, Jamie Volks, Commander Mars. Good to see you guys, and I hope to see many more of you guys joining in there soon. Uh, a couple of you guys have been watching my Diablo 3 streams. It's nice that uh, we're playing a little bit of Lead Dangerous today. And uh, I am going to jump into the game because I have... Well, here, let me just close my little Steam VR thingy majigger bobber that's popping up here. And we can turn on the uh, audio there. And, ooh, what's this? Oculus Rift just popped up with some summer sales. All right, we don't need any summer sales from Oculus Rift. I think we're good to go. I think it is. I think we're good to go. Look at this. <gasps> It's Elite Dangerous, that's right. Hey guys, uh, tell me how the audio sounds, if I'm too loud, if I'm too quiet, or if I'm just too annoying. Let me know. <laughs> uh, Commander Fenchud, Pixel Hunter, Jirica, or Yurika, or a uh, non-sleeping European. Well, there you go, non-sleeping Europeans. Those are my favorite kind. The kind that watch my show. And um, Timothy Langfeld. Hey, buddy, how's it going? All right. I think my... Game is ready. I gotta tell you, it's a little bit different, this setup. Not playing in the space chair that I used to have. Well, I still have it. It's not that I don't have it anymore. It's just that it's in a storage locker. A little ways from my house. I just can't fit it in my house, that's all. I don't have room for it, unfortunately. So, gotta make do with what you got, right? Um, one day I will have the space chair back and all will be right in the universe. Speaking of the universe, um, why is this not working? My joystick isn't plugged in? Oh, there we go. The wire was a little wiggly. Okay, speaking of the universe, or at least part of the universe, we're going to talk about the galaxy. Uh, we're going to jump into open, I think I'm on my main account. Yeah, Asp Explorer, that would be the main account. Confused is here as well. Hey, Josh, five to midnight here? Five to midnight. Well, all right. Uh, you must be a UK guy. And, oh my gerd. Uh, let's go ahead and do some friend request accepts. There's a whole bunch of friend requests. It's funny because I see friend requests from people that I know have been watching the broadcast for a really long time. There's no reason why you shouldn't have sent me a friend request already. If you haven't done so already and you want to send me a friend request, uh, by all means, feel free to do that. Uh, it is Josh Hawkins. Commander Josh Hawkins in the game. Yo, Josh, I have a little question. Why did you move in the first place? Because of work. Um, you know, that's a fantastic question, Phantom Task. I will... Well, you know what? I'll, I'll give you guys a quick rundown as to why I moved. First off, uh, my, my ex and I separated. I say X because she's an X now. So we separated, and uh, for a few months I was kind of homeless. It's kind of what happens when you leave the house that you lived in for many, many years, and you leave a very long-term relationship, nine years. Um, that relationship is in the past, and I have moved forward, and it took me a little while to get kind of settled down, and that's where I am now. I'm settled down. I've got a uh, small one-bedroom apartment, which is kind of strange because I've been living in a house for the past, oh, I don't know, 15 years with three bedrooms and, you know, backyard and garage and all of that. Uh, try to squeeze all your stuff into a small one-bedroom apartment. It makes a big difference. Uh, it, it gets a little crowded, so that's why I have the storage locker. That's why my space chair is in the storage locker. And um, I will add this in there. I'm much happier right now. So, 
I still have time to stream. I still have time to uh, hopefully in the very near future continue my Exploring the Milky Way Galaxy series. Although with the removal of one of the voice actors that was kind of a key role in the future episodes, I'm going to have to rewrite some of what I've got there. So I hope that explains it. And uh, here we are in the new home with the Elite Dangerous setup. It's not quite as much, I mean, it's not quite as comfortable as the space chair. I had a much larger screen. Actually, the screen that I used to have my chat on is there. No, the PC is not in the living room. <laughs> August Dark, the PC is actually in my bedroom. Uh, I have a really large bedroom here in this place. So half the bedroom has been sort of converted into my YouTube studio, uh, which you can see the shelf behind me. And I, d I don't have the green screen installed right Well, the green screen is there. Uh, I could prop it up. It's just I got home and I ate and I wanted to start live streaming right away. So I didn't uh, set up the green screen. But the, screen, the green screen does fit behind me and it takes up half the room. The other half of the room is my bed and my dresser and my closet with all my clothes. Uh, the living room does not have the PC. It does have an Xbox, and I do have a cable running through the wall behind my PC to my stereo system so that I can actually play Elite Dangerous in the living room if I wanted to on the projector screen, which is something I haven't done yet, and I really ought to try because it's a 100-inch screen. I really, I mean, all I got to do is just bring my joystick over there. I have a USB extension ran through the wall as well. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm feeling a little hoarse today. <laughs> God, sorry. Um, 41%. <gasps> what the shit is going on? I gained 1% hull. All right. That's, that's interesting. I don't know how that happened. But I got 1% extra hull right now. <laughs> You guys are going to have to call me Commander 41% from now on. All right. Let's show you guys where we are. Let's show me where I am. It's been a while since I've actually played, other than blowing myself up for the, um, the beta live streams. So where the hell am I? Way out over here. Okay. Oh, you know what? I am... I am way above... The galactic plane. Oh, yes, I am. I am. Let's see. Well, I'm quite high above the galactic plane, as you can see right over here. There are very few stars. In fact, I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, let's make sure these are all turned on. Yep. Look at that. I am about as high as I can go right now uh, in my ASP. In fact, well, I could probably go a little bit higher, but I'm getting into dangerous territory over here. Um, you are, you are lost. Yes, I am. The ship grew back. <laughs> Don't waste that 1%. No, I certainly won't. Um, yeah, I am going to waste the 40%. Probably going to waste the entire ship. Uh, so, what am I doing? I, I guess I must have been just sort of hunting for interesting places to see that's that is what I do and uh, since exploration data is now worth a whole hell of a lot more uh, I may spend a little bit of time up here I know that there's going to be lots of neutron stars up here like this is is this a neutron star is it is it oh it's a white star it's hard to tell up here everything is very sparse but uh, we can still plot ourselves a route up here. Let's see. Can we plot a route? Wow. Well, the route plotting has certainly changed considerably. I just don't want to get stuck up here. If I do, we'll have to call the fuel rats. Okay. Do I want to go up there? I guess I'm looking for interesting stars up here. We're, we're basically in a star graveyard way up here. That, that's what this is. These are the lone stars that somehow formed way off here in the reaches, the far reaches of the galaxy. 
Wow, okay, DAV, there's a white dwarf star. Let's see if we can go check out that white dwarf, shall we? Let's see if we can even plot a route there. Now, the new, <laughs> look at that. It's only 107 light years away, but look at the route that it has to take because there's very little, like there's so few stars to jump to here. You gonna have to do one, two, three, four, five, six jumps to get up to this white dwarf over here. And do we have anything that we can refuel at? Let's go OBA, FGK, M. Let's take off all of those. Let's take off that. We'll leave the Wolf Ray at the White Dwarfs and the non sequence Stars. And let's take a look at this route that we have and make sure we're not going to run out of fuel. So this is where plotting your course gets a little bit tricky. Looks like I can refuel at most of these stars. These are white stars, blue-white stars. There's another white star. I shouldn't have too much trouble getting up there. I can refuel pretty much along the entire trip. So let's go and start that up. But you know what? I'm missing... I'm missing voice attack. Let's go ahead and turn voice attack on. Miss my Astra. All right, watch out for zombies. Yeah, no kidding. Urgh. You guys can save me, that's true, with the uh, hull repair limpets. That's gonna be very interesting, though, if everyone flies out here to save me. I mean, I am like, well, I'm, I'm still about 25,000 light years from the bubble, so it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a ways out. <laughs> High time for the fuel rats to appear on the broadcast. Uh, yeah, that's true. They have never been on the broadcast, um, save for several fuel rats, but not officially as a fuel rat. <laughs> 40 year light, 40 light year anaconda. I could volunteer for that mission. I'm sure that many of you guys have 40 light year ships and all kinds of cool stuff that I just don't have because I'm way out here in the middle of middle of nowhere. That's where I am in the middle of nowhere. But it's good to be back, I will say. I missed Exploration in Elite, and um, I'm going to get to do a little bit of it today. For those of you who have been watching the Diablo live streams that I've been doing, um, one of the things I, I've said that I've always loved about Diablo is the loot pinata, which is when you kill a boss and... For those of you who don't play Diablo, it's where you kill a boss and all of the loot just comes flying out and you don't know what you're going to get, but yellows and oranges and hopefully something really awesome. Um, Elite Dangerous is kind of like that. I mean, every time you jump into a star system, you, you have no idea what's going to be in that star system. So you kind of get that whole loot pinata feel and that's one of the things that kept me going in the exploration. It's like, okay, what am I going to find in the next system? Like this system here had nothing. Yeah, one star in it. whoop de doo um, but who knows? The next system I jump into could be a gold miner, a treasure trove of really cool planets and planetoids and moons and stars and who knows. This one here's got two objects in it. Um, I'm only going to scan the things that are of interest and I'm going to do my very best, of course, as usual, to find interesting places for us to take a look at while we explore the Milky Way galaxy. Because that's what this stream is all about. It is the joy of lot of joy of expression. I was gonna say the joy of live streaming. It's that too. Because there is a certain joy in live streaming. It's like I'm bringing all of you guys with me on this trip. DBX with 51 light year jump range. Jeez, August. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, but J Funky ship is gold, so. There you go. Gold trumps all. Except for Trump. Nothing trumps Trump. <laughs> Only according to Trump, of course. Alright, what have we got here? And you know what? I just realized there's absolutely no reason for me to be not scanning the stars in the local system. So I'm going to start doing that. What have we got in this system? We have 19 objects. We have possible 
it's possible, guys, possible that this planet here might be terraformable. And we're going to we're going to do what I usually like to do, which is check the details on these things. These are going to be all high mass planets and our large radius planets nothing special there but we could go ahead and scan this planet just cuz just cuz it's only 900 light seconds away we'll get there very quickly and I want to come back and actually make some money it's one of the things that I didn't get to do during the uh, during the uh, the beta live stream that we did because I blew up my ship too quickly was get to sell all the exploration data and actually see how much exploration data I currently have. Oh, darn it. You know what? I totally forgot. I got to turn on captain's log, which probably has a million updates right now. I'm going to have to change that pretty soon too. Okay. Captain's log is going to record everything I do because I actually, I actually have been using captain's log this entire trip. So um, I haven't used it really the way that I should have before because before you actually had to manually enter like every planet and every moon that was in the system but uh, there was a update to it which just makes it absolutely amazing I think it records everything um, if I recall correctly I'm gonna take another look at that I'll just uh, slow down oh is Astra there Astra can you hear me Affirmative. Awaiting orders. Okay, she's a little loud. Sorry. Slow down. Okay. 75. Reading now. Observation speed. Slowing to observation speed. Alright, let's observe that planet. And while we do that, let's take a quick look here. Um, how did this work? Is this the right captain's log? It's still loading. Wait a second. Um, I feel like captain's log was updated and it was recording the planets. Unless I, that was unless that was just like some really strange dream where I dreamt that captain's log was up to date. Uh, either that. Or this is the wrong version, or I have the wrong executable on my taskbar. I should buy the Shatner one. Oh, you're talking about the uh, the uh, voice attack voices. I'm not crazy about William Shatner's voice, honestly. Chris Chandler! Hey, glad you're back. Hey, Nab Nabil is... Hey, Nabil Shouli. A whole bunch of you guys jumped in there. I didn't see you guys all pop in. Nice to have you on the stream, and yes, I am back. Um, I will tell you right now that my streaming schedule is going to be a little bit more fixed. Uh, I can tell you basically what I'm going to be looking. Oh yeah, all the statistics are there. Oh gosh, it's been a while since I've turned on Captain's Log. Maybe that's why it's not showing all this stuff, but I'm sure that it recorded the planets. I was 100% sure that it was recording the planets. Maybe it's only doing that... Okay, there's, there's got to be something I'm missing here. Something I am missing. Um, what am I missing? Why is it not showing me all of this stuff? I remember Captain's Log looked different too. It was showing me planet types. You can get descriptions. It was showing even the stats on the different planets. 50 plus watchers today. Yeah, well, we're not playing Diablo. <laughs> Captain's Log 2 says Jamie Vox. Okay, that could be the reason why. Oh, here it is. You know what? Thank you, Jamie Vox. You just saved me a whole lot of time waiting for it. I do have it on my taskbar. It's right there. Captain's Log 2. Let's start it up right now. Hey, there we go. Captain's Log 2.0. That's the reason why I thought it looked different. I kept Captain's Log 1 because it had all of my logs from everything right up until the point that 2.0 came out. Uh, Molotar, Josh, how come I don't see your recent Diablo streams? Molotar, I didn't leave my Diablo streams listed as public, so they don't just show up on all of the list of videos that I put on my YouTube channel. If you want to check them out, um, my YouTube streams are, my Diablo streams rather, there's a playlist, it's called Diablo, uh, Diablo 3 2.0. 
6.1, I think it is, the patch. I'm getting confused between the Elite Dangerous patch and the Diablo patch. 2.6.1. And I'm playing on Hardcore. I'm playing a Witch Doctor. I think I've got him up to like level 67 or something like that when I last wrapped up. And I'm trying to survive on Hardcore. If uh, those of you who don't play Diablo or anyone who is familiar with Diablo, uh, Hardcore is where your character has one life. If you die... You lose everything. The character is gone. So if you want to check out the streams, you can. I think there's three streams up there now. They're about two hours each. You could watch the most recent one. You'll see where we're at right now. I think I just killed... Uh, who did I just kill? Asmodan? I don't remember. I might have killed Asmodan. I think I did. I think he died pretty quick. So yeah, you could check them out if you'd like. They're under my playlists. And let's see how Captain's Log is doing. Is it loaded up? Yeah, look at that. God, that is so much nicer. Uh, I'd love it if you guys could see what Captain's Log looks like. I don't know why it doesn't want to come up. I think it's still loading. Hmm. It seems to be having a little bit of an issue. It's like it's there, but it's not there. I don't know where it is. It may still be loading, but uh, it's on my task. Oh, there we go. It says it's already running. No, it's very strange. I think it's frozen. I think it's still loading. Anyhow, whatever. Um, we could take a look at this. We're going to stick the suction cups down on my joystick. So we got, it is a terraforming candidate. Hey, booyah. Let's go take a look at this little planet. Let's see what it looks like. Jonathan, Jonathan Tyler, you are playing Elite as well. I think many of us are. Let's see how this planet looks. External camera. External camera. I'll just reposition the mic a little bit. So if you guys want to see... Oh my god, that's right. This is all different now. Okay, well, we need to uh, fix this a little bit, because I need to figure out how... Oh, okay, i got to remember what the keys are for doing all of this stuff. So I think it's lock-on is... what? What did I set for the lock-on button? Stabilizer, ship controls is A. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. So we get to take a look at what it looks like to be way, way above the galactic plane, which is where I am currently. You can see the entire galaxy far, far below, and there are not many stars in the immediate background of this backdrop because we are far, far above the galactic plane. You can, however, see this big, bright, I think it was an F star. It's going to come up here, off in the distance there. And the galaxy way below. Let's just take a look at it. Look at that. We are real high right now, and not in the way that some of you might be thinking. Beautiful view up here, though. Kind of feels like this planet is just floating up at the top of the galaxy. If you're exploring and you have the cache explorer, okay, should I buy the Asp Scout or Explorer? Yeah, I agree with everything that they just said. Go for the Explorer. Am I on the beta server? If not, I guess you jump to 41 on live. Yeah, Molotar, I don't know what is up with that. <laughs> Honestly, somehow I managed to get a one, one extra percent on my hull. Don't ask me where it came from, but yeah, I got an extra percent on my hull. So, hey, cool, right? All right, let's go ahead and uh, jump to the next system, see what we got here. At least you guys can see where I am, how high up from the galactic plane I am here. I'll show that one more time while the ship charges up. This is where we are right now, folks. Way, way above the galactic plane. Ready to make a jump. Alright, let's go. 
He'll be high as a cat by the... You know, it's funny. Beatles song just came on the radio before. Uh, my local rock station does this thing they call the rock train where you pick a song or, or they start off with one song and then they have their listeners send in texts with songs that start with the last letter of the last song that they played. And uh, they just keep going like that. And uh, I don't remember what song it was, but it ended with an O. And they had three choices. Uh, the choice that they went with was Obladi Oblada from the Beatles. Some of you might know that song. Some of you might be going, what? who the hell are the Beatles? <laughs> This is how you know you're old. Actually, I'm pretty sure that even young young people, young people, listen to me, I sound like a genuine old man. Those young people, they know who the Beatles are. Yes, they do. There was a band back in the day. I mean, technically, I'm too young for the Beatles as well. Because that was my parents' music. Might be the worst Beatles song, Pluton, <laughs> in your opinion. Fair enough. You are entirely entitled to your opinion, of course. <laughs> the worst Beatles song ever. Actually, no, I don't think that is the worst Beatles song ever. Um, oh, I know that some would argue against this, but I hate Yellow Submarine. Absolutely hate it. I don't know why they ever wrote that song. Actually, I, I do know why they wrote that song. But who was it that wrote that? Was it Ringo that wrote Yellow Submarine? I don't remember. Ooh, 58 objects in this system. Here. Gold mine. Please, please, come on. Show me the money. Ooh, wow. Okay, we got a possible interesting trio of ring planets over here. Who was it? Obladi and Yellow Submarine are two of the worst. Okay. Uh, Tower of Wow, how far am I from the bubble? Around 25,000 light years right now. I believe I'm around 25,000 light years right now. Got a compliment on my Beatles haircut the other day. You have a Beatles haircut, Jay Funky? Oh my god. Really? That's, uh, that's a little scary, I'm not going to lie. Now what is this planet doing all by itself over here? So that's only 172 light seconds away. That means that these two stars are also very close. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I can already see them. They're just up over here. Oop. There they are, right over there, with a the little planet right in between. Well, that's really cool. So you got a duo of stars over there, and off in the distance just behind you have another duo of stars. Let's go take a look. Let's go see what's over there and scan these stars while we fly over there. Why not? Get the scan data. Um, yeah, I, I want to... Um, <laughs> that song was to shut Ringo up. <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, the worst Beatles song is still pretty damn good and better than a lot of other bands best. That's true. Listen, I, I will give the Beatles credit. Uh, only the Beatles can make Yellow Submarine popular. Uh, <laughs> like, seriously. Anyone else sings a song like that and people would just be like, you guys are freaking crazy. Only the Beatles could pull that off. And, only, and, and they wouldn't be able to pull it off now. You know, the Beatles... The Beatles were popular at a time that sort of helped the Beatles be popular. Because otherwise, they wouldn't be popular. They certainly would not be popular if the Beatles were the Beatles today. I don't think anyone would listen to them. That'd be like the same thing with like the Beach Boys, you know? I don't think the Beach Boys would be popular now. Well, you know what? That's not entirely true. There seems to be sort of this, this wave of like nostalgic... Um, well, it, it kind of uh, it kind of comes back around, I suppose. Every so often, you see like fashion from the '80s or fashion from the '60s comes back around. In the '80s, you had a lot of people that were wearing like '60s style clothes, and uh, 
now we're seeing a lot of people wearing like 80s style clothes and like I, i'll tell you like one of these things that i just i just can't understand is the 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 soccer mom jeans that i see young girls wearing nowadays just blows my mind i got i i can't wait to see the what people say about this in the chat those soccer mom jeans the one you know the ones i'm talking about they come up to like over the belly button they're just god awful ugly and i see so many girls wearing them and i'm like why are you wearing these jeans like what in, in what world in what universe in what dimension does anyone look at these jeans and go oh those are nice i, I mean are they are they that comfortable because i i just don't see them being more comfortable than a normal pair of jeans just because they come up over your belly button they're god awful ugly oh my god Stop wearing them, all you people. Any of you guys that know girls that wear those jeans, help them, please. Take the jeans, burn them, hide them, bury them, do something with them. Just get rid of them. They need to be banished. Granny hats? I, I don't know, granny hats. Hey, Jerome, how's it going? God, I, I, gotta, I gotta look at the chat and see what you guys are saying. See if anyone agrees with me about those soccer mom jeans. Ugh. Horrible, horrible things. I can't stand looking at them. And it's too bad, too, because you see, like, these very, very pretty younger girls wearing these things, and you, you just gotta wonder, like, did, did you, did you just, I mean, just out of curiosity, did you happen to look in the mirror before you left the house this morning? Did you see what the jeans actually look like on you? Or were you just closing your eyes and pulling them up over your belly button? I don't understand. Ugly as hell, don't know why they think wearing it. I think they're supposed to be... Oh, don't know what they think wearing it. Yeah, Hathos, I completely agree. I, I don't know either. It blows my mind. Uh, let's see, is there another star here to scan? There's something. Oh no, that one's way too far, far away. Those are way too far, far away. Where are... I guess those are the planets over there. Really? Are those that far off? No, I'm, I want to go see these ones. Where are these? Why are these so far away? They shouldn't be so far out. 3,000? No. Too far. Too far. I don't want to go all the way out there. Although I do... Mm, I, okay, you know what? I got no choice. It's a trinary. I got to go explore it. We'll just fly over there and I... Uh, yoga pants? Uh, Jay Funky, I have nothing against yoga pants, Okay. And if you have something against yoga pants, well, I don't know. I think you know. I think you gotta leave the stream right now, man. Just, just leave the stream. Well, you know what? Don't leave the stream just yet. It's possible that on the wrong person, yoga pants could be very unattractive. But I, I'm assuming that you mean unattractive, because I, I think it's the exact opposite. I love yoga pants. <laughs> I think that should be the only pants that all women wear is yoga pants. Uh, not all women. No, I take that back. Not all women. Only, only, only most women, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm horrible right now. If any of the bros jump in the chat, they're going to be like, Josh, you, you, you're so sexist. You're just objectifying women. I'm not objectifying. I'm commenting on the fashion of women. That's all. <laughs> Yoga pants for the win. Thank you. <laughs> what, Phantom, Phantom Task just Googled what? What did you just Google? Or, oh, did you just Google soccer mom pants? <laughs> I'm guessing that's what you just Googled. The new fashion trend. Soccer mom pants. Oh, my God. You know... <laughs> And, and they're, they were, like, very popular in the 80s. That's when those soccer mom pants were popular. So, again, it's, it's that whole, like, revolution of clothing. I think it's because if you think about it, I mean, how many different styles of jeans could there be? You know, they have to, like... And, and, and women especially. Women love fashion, you know? And there, there's some guys that love fashion, too. I know plenty of guys that are obsessed with fashion. But uh, realistically, it's, it's a, fashion is a woman's thing. I mean, when you go to the mall and you look at 
the number of clothing stores and you compare how many of them are men's clothing stores and how many of them are women's, well, if there's a hundred stores in a mall, two of them are men's clothing stores. And every single one other than those two are women's clothing stores because women love clothing. They love to buy them every season. They got to change the, their, their outfits because, God forbid, you should get caught wearing clothes from last season. I mean, oh my God, you know, people will look at you funny and wonder if you live in a box or if you just, you know, oh my God, let's not crash into a planet. You know, like, oh my God, that's last, that's last season's shirt. I can't believe you're still wearing that. Women love to shop, and uh, the consumer world knows that, and they exploit that, and that's where this whole fashion, fashion revolution comes into play, is that they have to keep changing the fashion, because if they keep it the same, well, women will run out of things to buy, because they'll already have everything from that one style, so they gotta change it every summer, every fall, they gotta change the fashion, like, oh, you can't wear those clothes, you gotta wear these clothes, and next year you can't wear that style, that style's out of style. So, keep changing it, and eventually they run out, and they go, well, shit, we gotta bring back uh, soccer mom pants. Hey, there's a good idea, let's bring back soccer mom pants. So there is someone to blame. I don't know who it is. But whoever it is, they're laughing as they roll around in a pile of money at how many women are buying soccer pants again. Soccer mom pants. And I bet you that was like a huge surplus from the 80s that some dude just found. It was like, hey, you know what? I bet you we put these out on the rack. Someone's going to buy them. And then they did. And then they said, oh, someone bought them. Let's start advertising it as the new fad. And then somehow people started buying them. Hey, great test. <laughs> why, why are we talking about are we talking about my shirt what Gray's here Gray Tess why don't you jump into discord with me so that I don't have to read the chat <laughs> so I'm like flying around like an idiot talking about women's fashion help me help me men I'm supposed to be flying to one of these planets Hi, mate. Oh, for the love of God, thank God, a moderator has decided to join me. How's it going? <laughs> I'm alright. Were you busy playing Diablo? <clears throat> a little. I thought, I bet you thought we were going to stream Diablo today, didn't you? I didn't expect anything, I just hoped you would show up at some point so you can teach me the ways, you know? Yeah, unfortunately I have to play Elite Dangerous today. I think it was kind of mandatory. I gotta show a little bit of love. <laughs> and people are enjoying it. 60 guys in here, that's awesome. Sure, sure. I think that's a pretty regular turnout for my uh, exploration. Joy but, of explorations. But hey, you, you still will have to return that one additional percent you have now. That's no. not fair, you <laughs> cheater. <laughs> right? Everyone's gonna report me for hacking. Like, um, <laughs> Frontier... This guy had 40% for I don't know how long, and now he's got 41%. I saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> uh, there's videos to prove it, so we can definitely <laughs> prove that he cheated. He hacked the game. It's just that I'm that good, okay? What can I say? I flew so well. Actually, you know what it was? It's like, um, I think Frontier was like, Josh... We miss you, man. Come back and play our game. We'll give you some haul back if you come back and play the game again. So they gave me that 1%. It was incentive. It's a, it's a playing bonus to come back and join, rejoin the ranks. Yeah, it's just teasing. It would, it would have been cool if they gave you 42%, but 41 that's just teasing. Zero Filth says, Let's get rid of the soccer mom pants, but leave the single moms. Hey, we didn't say there was anything wrong with single moms. And and soccer moms aren't necessarily single. <laughs> I mean, most soccer moms probably aren't single, actually. Yeah. And I, I can tell you that... Because <laughs> I, I recently went to my buddy's son's soccer game. And I was terribly disappointed by... <laughs> 
I was terribly disappointed by the quality of the soccer mobs. I'm not going to lie. Oh. <laughs> I, I was like, hey, wow, I'm going to go to a soccer game. I'm going to see all these hot soccer mobs. And no, there really wasn't a lot of hot soccer mobs. And these are young kids, too. So these were mostly young moms. There was not a lot of hot moms there. It, it, it wasn't like my dream of going to a soccer game was, you know, like, I, I, oh, I always dreamed of going to a soccer game with all these hot soccer moms. No, no. The quality was poor, and there were. It's funny that you're so obsessed many. with soccer moms because uh, I think it was Bo on on her live stream with Ad where she basically learns Elite Dangerous, where she started from the beginning. She called her hauler the soccer mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> hey, it looks like this planet is either on a perpendicular or it's right on the edge of the rings i think i might go check this one out oh it is right on the edge of the rings isn't it right at the very Maybe tip it's another one of those who get sliced by the rings no it doesn't look like it but it's damn close <laughs> i'm coming up on it right now i could see it's right on the edge living on the edge if Shibuka was here, that's what he would be singing. Because when Shibuka and I play together, which we haven't done in a really long time, which is a terrible, terrible shame, because um, we were the original bros and we started this whole, this whole movement. It's a movement now. That's what it is. We started the bro movement. The cult. The cult. Um, <laughs> when he and I played together... It was just a lot of singing going on. Oh, it's not even a landable planet. That's unfortunate because look where it is. It's it's not it's not perfectly aligned with the rings, which is beautiful. It would make for excellent ring viewing from the surface. Too bad it's rocky and has a little bit of a atmosphere. External camera. Let's see what she looked like. I can't say I'm 100% crazy about the new camera suite. Um, because when I do this, it wants to automatically... Oh, look, there's another little planet over there. It wants to do this, and I can't control the camera the way that I used to. Wow, it really puts things into perspective when you zoom out on the ship and you're like, Oh, shit. I forgot how big little moons are, actually are. <laughs> they look so small when you have nothing to compare them to, and then all of a sudden, your ship yeah, is you there. Zoom, zoom all the way out, and the planet just doesn't change at all. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't change at all. Your ship just gets really tiny. But this is a quite the beautiful view. If I could just get rid of the damn ship out of the picture. Look at that. This giant ring planet way above the galactic core cockpit view right now they have the same size from that perspective yeah we could eclipse it all right who here saw the eclipse the other day was anyone in the total eclipse area I don't know exactly where that was I don't seem to recall exactly where it was straight across the US uh, no, there were parts. I saw the eclipse. I actually took pictures of the eclipse with my phone. Yeah, but not the total one, right? But not the total one, no. Yeah, I didn't. The, the path of the total eclipse went straight across from east to west across the US. It was a total eclipse of the sun. Oh, Rodney Peter said 97%. 97% <laughs> eclipse is what he saw? Yep. That's pretty darn close. You could have you could have driven those few miles to get a full one, right? Right, right. I'm sure you would have only had to drive <laughs> like a few hundred miles. Not even a few ten miles. Oh, I don't know, man. Good evening, Josh. Nice to nice and close to the bubble. I see. Still exploring or heading back? Uh, who is that that just chatted me up there? Commander Machine. Uh, Commander Machine. I am just doing some exploration right now. Ooh, look, I see two stars over there. 30 oh, that's seconds. true, Darren Signal. In Freelancer, they they kind of cheated a bit, and those planets Ooh. were, in fact, tiny. Ooh. 
this is an interesting looking system. We have two binary lava worlds right over here. We've got a ringed lava world with a small moon that's landable orbiting it. Cookie says right back. We have another binary right over here. And a trinary of two dwarf stars and what appears to be a gas giant. We're going to have to check this system out. These are all within exploration range. We're going to go see what we got going on over here. Hey Darren, that's just about enough time to get some kits in the meanwhile and then be able to show them. <laughs> the next eclipse in New Zealand is 2028. I think the next one here in Montreal is 2024. And if I'm not mistaken, that is going to be a full eclipse. We are actually going to be right in the path of the full eclipse. So I am very excited nice. about that one. Uh, I think the last time I saw a full eclipse, if I recall correctly, I would have been around four... No... Yeah, about maybe 14 or 15 years old. So that's uh, 25 years ago. Long, 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 long time ago. Before the wind, before the snow. That's right. I remember watching a eclipse when I was maybe like, I don't know, 10 or so, 15 years ago. But I'm not sure if that one was a full one or not. I don't quite recall. Look at this. This is so cool. Look at this bright, beautiful red and black marble. And these two orbiting each other right here. So close to... Now that's a beautiful view. I, I should be capturing footage of this, which I'm not doing right now. Hey, Timothy. Thanks for joining in. Take care, mate. Yeah, take it easy, Timothy. Thank you, and we'll see you on the broadcast on Sunday. Uh, I will be live streaming on Saturday as well. I don't know if it's going to be Elite Dangerous or if it's going to be Diablo, but uh, certainly feel free to come back here and join me. Let's take a look at this. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's I, I don't I don't remember the last time I saw two lava worlds orbiting each other like this. Not that close. Not that close, yeah. I am gonna record this. Hell, why the hell not? Why in the hell not? And they're quite close to the parent star too. <laughs> Jeremiah says next total in the UK is something like September 2090. <laughs> I will not be alive for that, unfortunately. So you enjoy that total eclipse. Here's here's an eclipse for you right here. There's a total eclipse. Ta-da! I just made you one. Total eclipse on the heart. There you go. <laughs> Get some singing in there. Um, yeah, good job, Darren. I actually today played almost completely through the season. I'm just missing one last task, uh, the Great Rifts, and then I got it. What did What do you got? The season completed. Oh, what? Yeah. Wait, you're talking about like chapter one of the season, not the entire season. The entire season? <laughs> no. No, you did not do the entire season. That's not possible. I did. You, Why not? Because, you, so you're telling me that you did, like, okay, Chapter I don't... One, two, three, and four, except for one last task, the Greater Rifts up to level 20. But that's not and all there is. There's chapter, like, five, six, and seven. Well, uh, maybe... And eight and nine. But I do get the rewards, like the the pet and the the set and everything. Yeah, you get at the set four. bonuses. Yes, I know what you're talking about. You get the so full. You get all well, the me, set bonuses. I have it slow. Let me, let me check. Um, uh, so you, you're telling me if I complete chapter four, there's going to be another chapter to select afterwards? Um. Well, there are other challenges. Because. Down in the bottom, it says three out of four chapters complete. So, it, it right here it says there are four chapters, but whatever. Yeah, but there's other challenges in the season that you can complete for other rewards as well. Yeah, no, I've been grinding a lot of the Nephilim Rifts and the bounties on the adventure mode, stuff like that. 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, what? There, there's some yeah. seriously challenging ones on there too. Like, I don't think you completed the I, whole I season. Did, I did Torment Four today. I killed several bosses in in Torment Four for the Look Chapter Four. At you go, goals. Gray Test. The witch Killing. doctor is pretty good, and now I got some proper gear as well. I'm I don't have a proper build yet because I have no sets, but it, it's coming along. You're gonna have to tell me what uh, what skills you're using. What's your build right now? Mm -hmm. Share share let's, your let's secrets with us. Let's not talk too much us. about Diablo. We can we can chat later, but all right, don't fair think enough. That's what the guys are here for. Uh, listen, guys, I know you all came here for Diablo, so <laughs> we're gonna blame Graytest for not wanting to talk about it right now. <laughs> You're such a... Uh. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I know. I really want to play Diablo 2. <laughs> but I was saying earlier that uh, Elite has its own loot pinata. Look, every time you jump into a system and you scan, look at this one here. This one has, how many did it, 36 objects True, in it? Yeah. There's a loot pinata right there for you. And my That's always exciting. As soon as your the pop up there hits three digits, it's it's party time. <laughs> well, knowing that I'm actually making money now every time I hit that button, um, kinda makes me feel yeah. a little better about it because I'm gonna make more money on the way back than well, more money on the way back, even if I rush the way back, than I would have the entire trip when I was like doing planetary Easily. scans and all kinds of cool stuff. So. Easily, probably even two or three times that. Hashtag people watching is falling. Oh, because we're talking about Diablo. I'm sorry! Come back! Uh, Elite Dangerous, patch 2.4. Um, yes, uh, Thargoids. Thargoids. Uh, alien bases, structures, um, and uh, mega ships okay <laughs> <laughs> did you guys see uh, did we have it in the bro bar i think it popped up somewhere in the bro bar hold on yes it is in the return type 10, discussion type 10. Channel. <laughs> yes the type 10 defender like that that brick image there um from i think it was from Tr twitter from um, twitter Tr Twitter. Critter. I'm not sure who, who did that. I, I, it doesn't look like an official concept art, but it looks very interesting. Like somebody imagined a even more bricky version of the Type Nine with those um, keelback style thrusters on the outside, four of them, two on each side. It looks rather interesting. Uh, look at this. It's a little bit further away than I kind of hoped, but. Got this really cool little ringed lava world here. I'm going to go into those rings because I think that is going to look really cool. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to, like, I'm just going to go into the rings, okay? I'm going to go into the rings. Uh, repair limpets! <laughs> Bionic. Ever. Titties and beer! I, I no, that's I don't think that's in Elite Dangerous yet. Have they put titties in Elite Dangerous? Mm, no, there's well, there's no slider in the Hollow Me for for titties. No, yeah. <laughs> in every other game where you can create a character, <laughs> there's a boob slider, except for Elite Dangerous. Yeah, because Elite Dangerous, in comparison to many other games, probably MMOs and stuff probably has like instead of two percent women like four percent women playing it or something i don't know <laughs> it's it's tragic but it's men that play with boob sliders not women yeah of course so you'd think that they a, would put it in no that's just frontier developments that they would do not want to encourage any kind of sexism i guess is giving people the option to change the size of your character's boobs, sexist. not directly. It's a I, discussion. I don't I think I that's say sexist. So, but I, 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 yeah, it, they are British. What, what do you expect? It's not sexist to allow people to choose the size of their boobs. People do yeah, it in real point, life too. Ablative. Good point, they're ablative. If we're gonna get titties, I also wanna have the option to make my guy super fat. Well, that's another option that's missing from the game, isn't it? People, there's always an option to to choose the sort of fatness. The... I want to have my my big belly and my my fat folds being dragged down if I pull high G maneuvers. 
<laughs> and upwards, of course, if you pull negative Gs. That could look funny. Oh my god. You want to see the fat folds moving. You want to see yes, them sir. rippling in the Gs. <laughs> rippling in the Gs. That's fat sheer. That's what they call that. <laughs> the tech just isn't there. Yeah, that's probably the reason, Taro. <laughs> You have oh, to double G, G shear, fat shear. <laughs> All right, that's a nice, nice shots there. Nice shots, man. Nice shots. Uh, let's go into the rings and take a look at this. <laughs> I want we? a fatter belly where I can rest my beer can. Says Bionic Emperor. <laughs> when when you're doing those trade routes, you definitely have to have a fat belly for beer oh, rest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's go into the dark side. Come to the dark side of the planet. <laughs> because that's usually where the best view is. Look at that. That's really cool. Check this out. The, uh, the shadow of the planet, because it's so small and the angle of the star does Doesn't not reach even edge. reach to the edge of the rings. That's cool. You don't see that too often. No, you really don't see that too often. I'm going to go ahead and capture that. In a video. But look at that. They even implemented a... How do you call that? The penumbra? Like the half shadow? Where, yeah. where the, the sun isn't completely eclipsed? And so they actually have a gradient in there like it would be in, in, uh, in reality. That's pretty awesome. Makes sense, don't it? That's it science totally right sense. there. Let's see. Capture Never paid attention to it. Well, you don't see it very often, but uh, I mean, I've seen it plenty at oh, right on the tip, right on the tip. Look at that. Um, I've seen it plenty because I've done a lot of <laughs> shots. <laughs> then the seat needs to be wider, so I'm not pushing buttons with my rolls. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> Pushing buttons with the rolls. Eh? I like that people are joining into the stream here. Good to see you guys in the chat. It is good to be back, of course. And to have time to stream Elite Dangerous once again. Uh, so, so uh, wait, wait. What's, I, your, what's your current status even? Are, are you like finally on your way home now? Or are you still just lingering around there? Great test. It's the first time I've logged into my character. I mean, like, give me some time to figure it out, man. Why are you pressuring me like that? Why you gotta pressure me? I don't know what I'm doing yet. Cut me some slack. Give me a break, man. I don't know. Um, I, I was on my way home. But uh, the problem is, when I live stream, I want to show off beautiful things. And when I show off beautiful things, I don't fly home. And when I don't fly home, I don't get anything done. <laughs> tell you what, tell you what, August, Josh will need it. And yes, two light years max today. So ablative, ablative says. <laughs> hey, I've already gone almost a hundred light years. Okay, and I'm capturing footage, which is going yeah. to be used for something sometime on my YouTube and channel. And then you're gonna oh, remember boy. that you forgot something in the system where you started off, and you're gonna fly all the way back to to get a shot of it, because that's how explorers roll. That is how explorers roll. That is really nice looking, though. Look at that, beautiful. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I've seen too many ringed lava worlds right next to their yeah, star sure. like that. It's, it's it's a cool shot. Oh. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Yes, it's perfect. Now I wonder if the shadows are actually sharper if if the planet is a lot farther away from the star. Sharper? Now I'm curious. In the edge of the shadow, sharper. Hmm. More defined. I don't know. Because it should be, because the light basically comes from one single point at this uh, if it's far away I will say that the asteroid belts look amazing from this distance look at this it looks like there's hey, a Josh. lot of asteroids down there 
Bionic says, hey Josh, I watched your roleplay vids on lead. you need to make more. Just stopping like that, not cool, dude. Not cool. Um, it's a series. It's not stopped. It's, it's just, it's ongoing. Hiatus. Yeah, it's on hiatus. I, I was thinking about something that, uh, since there is no more Commander Shannon Day, it's going to be very interesting on how I... Who? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she who will not be named. Let me fly down into this belt over here because this is the shot I wanted. There's the money shot. Come on. Come on. Ooh, That's right. Back sexy. it up. Back it up. Back it up. <laughs> right into the belt. And Can't say that after I, I said sexy. <laughs> I can say whatever I want to say. Don't tell me what I can and can't say. You know, asteroid belts terrify me. Not because I think I'm going to fly into an asteroid, but because I have seen, on many occasion, asteroids right in front of me, like one of these ones here that I'm flying towards, nice big fat potatoes, suddenly vanish. And I went, oh, that's strange. And then It's just the way they render their but asteroid no, fields. But no, but no... Then you fly towards the large asteroid that simply vanished, and pow! You hit an invisible asteroid that is actually there, that for some huh? reason the game has not rendered correctly. That yes. That never happened to me. That's but, right, okay. folks. You heard it here first. The asteroids vanishing Cookie is Cookie is requesting to join you in multi-crew for some screenshots. Um, sorry, uh, I don't know, the uh, chair on the other uh, side of this ship is a little uh, taken up by my love doll right now. Uh, no, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where Sheila is. <laughs> I couldn't not bring her, it's a long journey, damn it. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I could spare the seat. Let me just move the inflatable. Hang on, just one second, I want to capture this shot and then I will let you join in the multi Okay, ab Ablative never had it happen either, but Darren, hap Darren says it happens a lot, so there's that. Uh, what, do you think I was lying? Of course, as usual. I hate you. <laughs> I see, there's another. <laughs> Uthred there, Ragnarsson. Wondering as well. <laughs> Uthred, as we, we are all wondering where this extra 1% came from. Uh, it's, it's a gift from the Thargoids. Uthred, if you if you go into your main menu, there's that option to report a player. <laughs> <laughs> hacks, hacks. <laughs> I have no idea where that extra one percent came from. <laughs> That's, I mean, really, what the shit, right? <laughs> They must have changed just something in the background, how the values are calculated, and you were like 40.437% or so, and then it got rounded up for some, maybe they changed some values of the hulls in the background, some resistances <coughs> for yeah, the future update, you know? Right, maybe, sure. We'll see. Sure. All, all good sound theories right there. I, I suppose anything is possible. Okay, so you're not crazy. Rodney Peters had it happen as well. Aha! Report Rodney Peters as well, everyone. <laughs> no, not not the percentage stuff, the invisible asteroid stuff. Oh, okay. Don't report him. Don't report me either. Uh, okay, let's go ahead. Who wanted to join in? Cookie wanted to join in, right? Cookie Rebel. Yep. Let's go ahead and see who's closest to me. Commander 11100110. Ah, my favorite. <laughs> He's the closest to me. Who's furthest away from me? Private group. Uh, you guys don't count. You mean nothing to me. You dead to me, you private groupers. Commander, a duck on quack. <laughs> what? Say again. He's a duck on quack. A duck on quack. <laughs> Let's invite... Awesome name. Cookie Rebel to crew. Uh, for some piracy, yarr! <laughs> 68 cheat reports coming in from the Rosie. <laughs> I expect nothing less. <laughs> <laughs> right? 
<laughs> Bastards. As Commander Josh Hawkins gets banned from the game. <laughs> yeah, account reset, completely deleted. I, I got a message, Ed, be like, Ed, I didn't do it, man, I swear. <laughs> Bo, please, Zach, come on, guys. You know me. <laughs> oh. All right, hey, Cookie, uh, why don't you join in my mercy, mercy crew here? Mercy. Cookie Rebel has joined in. <gasps> uh, oh my god! Like the, the Someone's in my ship! doesn't matter. If the paint job it, is at zero, it just means it's the most decayed it's ever gonna get. Like, you have the most pieces of paint job missing, you probably only have a few spots of paint left on your ship. See, here's my inflatable doll. Uh, you can tell she's well used. Her, uh... <laughs> oh god! <laughs> uh, well... At least Cookie didn't know what he would get himself into. Yeah, well used. You you could see that the ship has been quite <laughs> torn. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, there you go, Cookie. Get your get your screenshots. <laughs> Might want to clean that seat before you sit down on it. God. Whew. Yeah. So anyhow, uh, if there's a particular type of screenshot that you would like cookie just let me know because I'm, I'm gonna fly through the uh asteroids it's very lonely <sighs> out in the black indeed it is he's only semi regretting this hey i'm not the one who made a chick in their hollow me and brought her onto By the my way, ship looks like the sun is setting behind the planet you might have to move up a bit uh, what does it look like I'm doing? Actually, you're on a delay, so you can't really see what I'm doing. Hey, you want to put that extra pip into systems, if you don't mind, a cookie? Just in case. Lights on. Lights on. And this is how I lose percentages of my hull when I start flying ridiculously <laughs> through asteroid fields. Oh, I, yeah, I miss this, though. I miss hunting ships through the asteroid belts. And then get your butt back into the bubble, not only for the broadcast on your alt account, but actually having the real Josh Hawkins back in the mix. <laughs> Will the real Josh Hawkins please stand up? Ah, uh, asteroid belts are there, there's just this uh, this sereneness to them when you're this far out of the bubble. Asteroid belts and sharp deep canyons. I like flying through. Jay these. Funky, twenty two deaths and zero kills. Is that your is that your statistics of the ship, or or of your account or what? <laughs> to never kill anyone kills. in this. I I don't get the reference there. Now you're making me wonder how many times I've actually died. I know that a few of the times I've died have been. And you for, can watch. You fun. can look up your rebuys. Where are the stats? Oh, uh, they are under status, aren't they? Let's see. Statistics. No. Yeah, status and statistics. Yeah, right. Let's see what we've got here. Um, combat. Assassinations fifty-seven. Skimmers killed zero because I've never landed on a planet with skimmers in this ship before, ever. Oh, gotcha, Jay Funky. Smuggling, trading, mining. I've done a 12 million in mining. 4,637 systems visited. What's your distance traveled on a planet's surface with the SRE? 396 kilometers. <laughs> yeah, shut up. I'm not, a, I'm not a rock rat, man. Yeah, it's okay. Come on. You. Also, you probably don't even have an, have an SRV with you, right? I or have SRVs with me. Ooh. Of course I do. Oh, here we go. Yeah. 449 I, I'm not sure, kills. Like, for oh, no, all that CPC I know, you stats. could have left before those were in the game. <laughs> Old man. My kill to death ratio on CQC is pretty good. 2.0. How much did you play of that? Uh, 18 hours. <laughs> wow, not bad. I, I played exactly one round on Ed's livestream, and I won that. Yeah, I have That's my, my whole experience with CQC. I have a semi-professional status on CQC, actually. Um, but where do you see how many times you've died in your uh, rebuys? Ship? Oh, it's uh, under it should, rebuys. Should, should be somewhere up there. Combat balance. 
balance, combat. I don't see it. Where? Where? What? Insurance claims seven. Where? Where is it? Oh, there uh, it is. Insurance from claims. The top. Okay, I see. Well, a couple of those were. A couple of those were uh, genuine combat insurance claims. Chris, I, I'm not sure I haven't looked in a while, but I think it was close to or already above 10 megameters. What's that? Well, over 10,000 kilometers. There you go, Cookie. There's some screenshots coming up for you. And... Since I actually jumped to another planet that was like, what, what was it, like a few megameters away, I'm, I'm pretty sure that did not count into that tr distance traveled. Um, but I, I would have to check back again. And I would have to try that again, jumping to another planet and then seeing if it, if it did actually count towards the distance traveled. Everyone is too scared to look at that video. Which video? Which video is he talking a about? You found a fake Shibuka. A fake Shibuka? Apparently. I found a fake Shibuka here. Well, now I'm curious. <laughs> fake Shibuka, huh? I mean, Ablate, if, if you would just chuck me the link in the bro bar somewhere, I oh, could he's got it, it. He's got it and there. actually post it for you. He's got it there. You just, uh, just copy that over uh, the YouTube. I, I'm gonna do that. Let's take a look. Let's I know see. how it works, but it's easier if you can do just you? click Are on. Are you sure? Are you sure you know how it works? Yes, I can do the internet. You you know how to internet? Okay. Yes, I know how to internet. All right, just just checking. Uh, let's see, fake Shibuka. I right? was I was born in it. I was molded by it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! It is incredibly important. The wow, that is a fake Shibuka. That's like that's like Shibuka with mild downs, I think. <laughs> Something in the eyes, I don't know. <laughs> Terrible, Shibuka's gonna kill me if he sees this. <laughs> oh my god! I think it's time. I think it's time for an at everyone announcement, right? What's that? Yeah, I think it's time for an at everyone announcement. Yep. In the pro bar. Screenshot. <laughs> screenshot. Wow, that that was that was very much like Shibuka. Good, good catch, man. I don't even know what that was about, but good catch. <laughs> August Dark says that's the alternate version. It's another Holomy save. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. All right, let's uh, let's head over to here. Also, good point talking about that. I'm pretty sure we would not be getting extra Hollow Me saves if Turgent has wouldn't have been so vocal about it. Um, excuse me. I am responsible for those Hollow Me saves. Well, because of Turgent. So Turgent yeah. still gets some credit, but I actually went to Zach and I bugged him about it and I was like, Zach, when are we getting... I, 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 and you, I told him it was from Turgent. I did tell him it was from Turgent. You were nearly the messenger. All right, fine. I, I carried that message to Boston, though. It came out of <laughs> my mouth. Valiant effort. Valiant effort, and it will be credited. Fair enough. <laughs> I was walking down the street with Zach, and he said it wasn't going to happen. He denied it outright to me as I bugged him in person for details about what's coming up in the game. This system that we're flying up to here, this little, uh, little mini system within a system, looks kind of cool from far. I will say. Looks like there's a lot of stuff all stuck together there. Yeah, okay. Praise Turgeon. Praise Turgeon for the extra holomies. Praise Turgeon just in general. I just fucking begged Zach for it, literally, on Turgeon's behalf. Don't don't praise Josh. <laughs> See, when FDF denies it, you know it's coming to the game. <laughs> Sounds about right. I also talked to Zach about space legs. But but that would also mean we would get the Panther Clipper. If we get space legs, it's my it's because of me. 
<laughs> You're just gonna take credit for every feature in the game now, I, right? I take credit for space legs. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, that, okay. that system does look pretty awesome approaching that, man. That's cool. Yeah, it's uh, two dwarf stars with a ton beautiful. of little, ton of little so planets. So beautiful. Uh, two dwarf stars, and then these are all just like little ice and planets, then, I'm sure. And then, and then, uh, 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 and a gas giant over here. You know, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look back in my uh, my captain's log and see if I ever logged it in the notes. But when I first set out on my exploring the Milky Way galaxy journey, which, of course, I never thought was going to turn into a freaking space drama. Uh, Odyssey. Yeah, space odyssey. Um, I passed a system that had a ringed gas giant with maybe six or seven ringed moons. And all of these little moons were very close to the gas giant so that literally if you if you if you flew to any one of them and just panned your camera you would see in the sky all of these ring planets just rings 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 and wow. it was absolutely amazing and at the time i had no idea about reddit i had no idea about youtube i didn't think anyone would ever see my pictures i didn't think anyone would ever see my videos and i tried to capture video footage of it but i was so bad with the camera that i couldn't even get like a proper panning shot so i was like ah screw this and i ditched the video and i don't have it anywhere but if i have the system saved or if i made notes on it or said like really cool ring system or something like that somewhere in the four thousand systems i visited uh i will go back there and i will get proper footage of it i've never seen anything like it again like you see here you could those see those are the gems you go out for oh yeah like here you go you could see like these two moons right two moons right next to the ring planet well imagine both of these were ring planets themselves and then add four more so you had all of them in that shot it was so gorgeous real gem real gem hey j funky take care mate take it easy j funky thanks to thanks for joining in on the stream man all right uh, this is this is a cool shot here too. Actually, I really do love these yellow planets, these sulfury-looking planets. They're very interesting. However, I have to remember how to do this with this damn camera. I'm capturing footage again. It's such a rare thing to capture footage. I hope Cookie is getting some good shots too. I can't wait for his next video. Wait a second. We can't have duplicate shots. <laughs> what? What? Well, he's going to be quicker about it, just saying. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. It's all good. I don't really care. I don't make those type of videos, man. Although I did get a comment on a video that I made. I think it was called The Beauty of Elite Dangerous or something like that. I got a single comment out. It was like, are you going to make more of these? I really should. Okay, Cookie, I'm gonna jump onto the next system. Uh, actually, wait. Let's let's check the uh, system map and see if there's anything else here I wanted to look at. I looked at the trinary. Uh, no, not really. Looks like you're quite a ways off of the gal uh, galactic plane, right? Oh, very much so. Very much so. Um, I am quite a ways off the galactic plane. 2,000 light years above the galactic plane or more. Not bad. Okay, moving on to the next system here, Cookie. I don't know if you will... Oh, yeah, look at that. This is one of the cool things, though, about being this high up off the galactic plane. Take a look at this. When you look up at a system like this, you see no background but the system. <gasps> Ooh! That just made me think of something. Made me think of something. Hold on one second. 
Um, hold your horses, everybody. We are not... Caution, everyone. Thinking in progress. <laughs> uh, what time is it? Anyone got the time? I don't have my in-game time turned on. What time is uh, it? Eastern time. I gotta plug my phone in. I just remember. Your gotta... time should be eight in the evening right now. Okay, hold on. I gotta go plug my phone in. I completely forgot. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. And hopefully I am away from this gas giant now, far enough at least that I can get the shot I was just thinking People about. really wanted you to lose some more hull there. I can't lose hull if I'm pointing into nothing. Thanks. Thanks for the support though, guys. <laughs> Thanks for the wonderful, wonderful support. Let's see if we can get this into the right position. Because this is a very interesting looking little system we got going on here. Dun, da, da, dun, da, 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 da. Oh, look, look at the shadow of the planet on its rings there. That does look sharper indeed, now that you're farther away from the star. The only reason it looks sharper is because there's nothing else in the background obscuring the view. Look at that. No, That's no, no. what I wanted to see. There it is. There it is. Here, I want to get this shot. Cookie, don't steal my shot. <laughs> it's my shot, yeah, man. It's, just it's my shot, man. Screenshots. Don't be stealing my screenshots. Oh, just screenshots? That's it? I think he said so, yeah. You steal away. Steal he, he doesn't trust your flying skills. He wants to control the ship himself when he records. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust my flying skills. Look at that! No backdrop at all. I love it. Just beautiful darkness. Darkness. Yeah, both can be very pretty if you're like in the thick of it, where you have millions of stars right around you in the core, and then the extreme opposite like when you're in the at the edge of the galaxy or as you are at the very top or bottom yeah. and you just have blue pure blackness in the background that's that's even more impressing really it is it's you feel like i, I <laughs> at one point in my exploration journey i think it was after i did about i don't know maybe the first 20,000 light years that i did and I'd been flying, it was two months I was exploring, and I was starting to like lose my focus on exploration. I was like, why am I doing this? Why am I exploring? It's just one system, and then another system, and then another system, and then another system. And I've been doing that for two months, and I was doing it pretty regularly at that point. I think it was like every day I was exploring. Um, I said, I got to do something different. And I flew straight up. And I went to the roof of the galaxy, and I saw this, and I remember this. Hold on, what's that? Too late? No, no, I trust Josh. It's just hard to record if you can't control, like, half of the camera. Yeah, that's true. I, I totally get you. <laughs> <laughs> Something is a moving jump of the super cruise gets rid of the speed lines. Oh, um, yeah, I, I know it gets rid of the speed lines, but I like those flyby shots. You can't do that if you're not in super cruise. Anyhow. I uh, flew up to the roof of the galaxy and I felt a little lost and I felt like, wow, I'm really far, I'm really alone, what am I doing, do I really want to continue this exploration uh, journey? And then I started looking at the systems and I was looking up and then I looked down and I saw the entire galaxy below me like it is right now and I said, you know what? There is so much out there to go and find, and I'm going to find the most interesting places. And that's what I set out to do. I, I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do it. I'm, gonna, I'm committing to it. I'm going to do it. And here we are, like, two years later. 
And look at this. There's our white dwarf. Only took me an hour and 25 minutes to get here. There's 21 objects in the system. They're all far, far away, unfortunately. That is... That's a terrible shame. Why did they going to be so, so far away? so freaking glad that they did the visual rework of White Dwarfs and Neutron Stars. Can you remember their previous <laughs> look? Where yes. they were just like a tiny, teeny, tiny ball of light. And now they are these massive, super bright, glaring jets of, of plasma or whatever. And it's so awesome. So much better now. Um, you see, when you look at it like this, like I've actually blocked out the light using my ship, you can actually see the space around the star is warped and like pulsating. Yeah. It's very cool. Um, let's move away from the star just a little bit. Yeah, they did ablate. It was very hard to tell them apart almost impossible really sometimes they had a little distortion around them what, or they had like a and neutron stars yeah back in the days they almost looked the same as any star in the background you could even if you're right in front of them yeah pretty much because they were so tiny and now we have these i mean they are so tiny but now they have the at least somewhat correct brightness which they didn't have before Okay, sorry, I just gotta check what time it is proper on my phone, make sure I don't have any messages. Uh, are, are white dwarf stars usually classified as DAV? Like this? D-A-V? Uh, no, there's different classes. Um, different subclasses of white dwarfs. No, I don't remember. I think D-A-W are, are a bit more... Uh, less common, I guess. I don't remember the uh, DAV. We have screenshots from Cookie. Excellent. All right. Oh, wow. But in the bro How bar, how does he do this? How does he do what? Let's take a look. Like his screenshots are always they have this extra spice. They are in in some way always exceptional. I mean, I I do know that he does some some work on them afterwards, some po post production basically. Where are they? But in pretty pictures. Oh, pretty pictures. There we go. I checked everything else but pretty pictures. Oh, duh. Duh. Uh, duh. Dur, oh, wow. Dur, dur, dur. Dur, dur. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my god, look at the cockpit shot. Look at the cockpit shot. My goodness. Josh Hawkins. Yep. Through the that Astro is Belt. So cool. I like what that is. He's got this ultra wide resolution, too, that he's using. That's pretty cool. Uh, on some of them, yeah. All right. Where can we go next? What else have we got around this her area? I like the O and the F type stars. They uh, have a uh, je ne sais quoi to them. Sometimes they have very interesting systems. So we can go there. We can go up to here. Can we go any higher or is this it? Oh, we can go higher. Uh, Theo Bauer, that is no coincidence. Lifting um, me higher. Shut up, Josh. The, then have ever... the galaxy you see in Elite Dangerous is, in fact, the Milky Way the galaxy. Um, the stars on all the systems, like in the vicinity of, of Sol, of Earth, are as accurate to the reality as they could get it. And beyond that, where they didn't have any good data on how the systems actually look, where they just had a few stars that, that stand out, they put those in there, and everything else is procedurally generated by the Stellar Forge. And they just went by some, like, mass equ equations, where, where the mass in the galaxy is supposed to be distributed. And they, in, in, in certain spots, they got it quite exact, actually, to yeah. reality. Yeah, and they only screwed up half the galaxy. <laughs> The half that yeah, I decided to fly out to that apparently has zero nebula whatsoever. <laughs> the other half of the galaxy, however, contains yeah. all the nebula. There, there are some quirks to it. Um, Bravo! There are some more interesting Dev, spots, Bravo. certainly, and you, you also have those artifacts of the creation, those, those borders of stars sometimes. But if you can look over that, the this representation of the Milky Way is actually amazing. I mean, there is nothing comparable out there. Yes, you have like st um, star. Uh, what's it called? 
um, <coughs> the engine thing. Starforge? Space engine. Space engine. But oh, space engine. Box. I mean, yeah, you can kind of fly around in that as well, but I mean, it's no game. There's no gameplay behind the whole thing. No, not um, really. And in, in Elite Dangerous, you have that, but you also have a, an almost exact copy of the whole Milky Way galaxy in there to explore. And that is certainly one of the most attractive points for people that just want to go out there and explore. Like me, well, I don't just want to explore. That's why I have two accounts, but... Oh, the beauty. Oh, the beauty. If you want to see those screenshots, Toru, you're going to have to join the bro bar. I can pop your link into chat if you want to join. Um, but I'm... I think it's not viable to put all the screenshots on screen right now. Nothing of screenshot worthiness in this system. We will continue on. Yep, 400 billion star systems, not stars, if I'm not mistaken. It should be several more billion stars. No, it's three to 400 billion star systems. And... Three. No, did I say three to four? Three hundred billion or four hundred billion star systems, and three trillion stars that, in the that game. That sounds more like it. Yeah, sounds about right. And here's one right now that's quite stunning and spectacular. Look at that. With no galaxy backdrop, this neutron star just looks absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and take a look. Ah, see? The community is awesome. Minx Voodoo said D equals white dwarf, A equals H line, lines present, uh, so that's um, hydrogen for you. Um, no helium one or metal lines or something, I don't know. And V equals variable, so I'm not sure what that means in the end, but there is there's a certain system to these declarations or classifications of white dwarves. Well, obviously there is a system to it. Thank you for the description of the system. All right. Let's not fly into the neutron star. Let's turn around and see what's actually in the system. Maybe if we're lucky, two new objects, and they are all half a million light seconds away from the neutron star, and they are just a couple of other stars. So we are going to move right along. Next waypoint. Nothing to see here. Astra, you're such a bitch. She never listens to me. Next waypoint. Make the jump. Jump into light speed. Never listens. <laughs> All right, let's continue on and see what else we find. If you just happen to be joining in, welcome to the Joy of Exploration livestream. My name is Commander Josh Hawkins. I'm joined by the, well, ever so present Commander Greytest. If nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> if, if nothing else. Uh, a fellow member of the Brocast and also my current gaming partner for Diablo 3, if you're lucky to join us on those streams. Oh, crap, and here's another white dwarf. Um, Language. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just say language? <laughs> uh, if you're just joining in right now, well, hey, you know what? Welcome to the live stream, and uh, please feel free, if you're enjoying this live stream, to very quickly go ahead and hit the like button, leave a comment, share with your friends, and even subscribe if you want to come back for more. Hey, Taru, thanks for joining. Good night, mate. <laughs> That's not what I was saying. I was saying stay on the live stream and hit subscribe. Come on, guys. Don't leave the live stream just like this, okay? Mother Wait, Taru, <laughs> Taru, take it easy, buddy. Thanks for joining in. All right, we will uh, continue on to the next system. Captain Canada, I like that. Captain Canada, I really like that. It's Captain Canuck. That's usually what they go with. Captain, Captain Canuck. <laughs> Captain Canuck. Why? Where are we seeing that from? Language, Captain Canada. <laughs> oh, I see. In the chat. All right. Continuing right along. I hope you guys are enjoying this, by the way. 
uh, Greatest and I practice this banter back and forth to make sure that it stayed entertaining. This is all scripted. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Just like the Wouldn't broadcast. Wouldn't be able to just offhand. Just like the broadcast. And if you like this sort of thing, certainly join back in on the broadcast. If you're not already a broadcast member, you'll find the link to our broadcast Discord down in our in, in the our description. peak times. You get four times the banter. Yes. Well, no, actually, it would only be twice as much banter as we have uh, right okay, now. Okay, I guess twice from what we have right now. Yeah. Yes. Efficient, but not very good with math. Up to 100% more banter. <laughs> Up to 100%. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> pretty much. So uh, if, uh, like I was saying, if you want to join in on the broadcast, uh, we have a live stream every Sunday from 3 p.m. Eastern until 6 p.m. I believe I've asked this a million times, but I think it's 7 p.m. in-game time until 9 p.m. Did I say three to six? That's the old times. I I don't remember what I just times. said because I take these pills that make me forget. <sighs> Are they blue? Well, no, they're white. They're white pills. Okay. And they're awful. I hate them. I really don't like them. I gotta say, I really don't like them. Like they really. <laughs> uh, did I did I tell you guys what happened when I stopped taking the pills for two days the other day? I think you did, talked about it, but I'm not sure it was it on, on the broadcast. broadcast. It might, okay, not sure. Well, it might have been between us. Re remind me to talk about it on the broadcast, because it makes for a funny story. Really, it does. Okay, we'll do. If, if you remember. I won't remember. If, yeah, me neither, probably, but we can try. Turgeon counts as several banters, apparently, according to Zero <laughs> Bill. <laughs> there's some truth to that, yeah. Some truths. And... That's what we love him for. That is what and we love him for. Among several other things, actually. Well, it's his hair, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Which is getting obviously. really long <laughs> from what I've seen. And somewhat grayish. Well, he's that, gonna, that he's happens to us all. My name here. <laughs> yeah, but you're gray testes. I don't know if he's got those oh, yet. God. <laughs> I hate you. I think we should change your name. That's what it should be. I could no. do a whole broadcast uh, thumbnail just for you. I love you. What what do, what do you bros think? Can't wait. Can't <laughs> wait. I don't want to exit from hyper sleep space jump. Lock and engage. Let's go. How many more jumps do we got? Two more jumps to this next one. And I think I will call it when we get to the destination system. Hopefully we find something interesting between here and there. We got a couple of more jumps. I literally am going to be at the roof of the galaxy. I don't think I can go any higher than that. We'll see where I end up in a couple more jumps. But space is extremely sparse right now. It's basically just galaxy on one side, black sky on the other. And one or two stars ahead. And all we're getting here is like neutron and white dwarf stars. So that's kind of interesting. I want to make sure I don't get too deep before I can't turn back. Seven objects. What have we got? What has we got? Oh, all stars, really. Nothing interesting here. Let's move on to the next system, shall we? Do, 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 do. All right. Look how high up we are here. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Milky Way Galaxy. Go to the dark side of the She's landable. so high. I can't sing. I'm sorry. Oh, Cookie says <clears throat> go to the dark side of the landable and the sky will light up. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yep. Um, I, I mean, hey, look, I can also just fly away from this, this here for a second, but I don't want to, don't want to go to, no, that's a star. Uh, let's just go to the next system and we'll find a landable. Let's show people where we are though. As we charge this up, you can see how black the sky is above and how bright the sky is below because we are way, way up here. There's the galaxy. There's the neutron star We're just flying past. All right, two more jumps, one more jump. I should have enough fuel to turn back if I have to from this point. This is not the star you're looking for. 
Uh, is it though? How do you know it is not the star I'm looking for? It may be exactly the star I'm looking for. Be brave. Boost your FSD. No, I'm not that brave. <laughs> the the midi chlorians told me. Midi chlorians told you. <laughs> This is our destination. All right, here we are. Let's see what we got in this system. Maybe something interesting. It is a white dwarf. Three objects. If we have perhaps a landable, we'll go and do what Cookie just suggested, which is land on the dark side. Ooh, well, Darren, Ooh look at he, this. If he just said that for you, then you should probably click the live button because you're like a few minutes behind. Now, this is rather interesting. A white dwarf with three gas giants all orbiting 200 light seconds, 587, and 979, all within 1,000 light seconds. Are the rings of any interest? No, not particularly. But, yay Neutral rings! stars are the roundest things in the universe. Yeah, certainly so. Aside from black holes, I would assume? No, because you can't, like, measure the roundness of a black hole. I mean, the black hole, it's not an object. What you see is the effect of the gravity of the of the object in the center, however you would define such a thing. So it, it by, I guess by default it's perfectly round, because it's just the effect of a center of mass. But as an actual object, uh, neutron stars and are the roundest ones because they are basically just compressed atom cores stacked up on each other. That is and exactly what they are. They are basically giant atoms. Uh, giant atom like cores, in fact, yeah. Just protons and neutrons stacked on top of each other. With no spaces in between. Uh, I'm pretty sure they this. are also the den the densest objects in space. Absolutely, they are. Um, Look at this. This is gorgeous. Look at how these rings look, man. This is with a, new, uh, a white dwarf lighting up this gas giant. Watch as I do this flyby. This is going to look gorgeous. Um, August Stark, I'm actually not sure about that. That that would be an interesting point. He says not if they spin really fast. I don't know. Because oh, the gravity true. in those things is so ridiculous. So absolutely ridiculous high ridiculously high that I'm not sure they could spin so fast that it would actually matter, but I Please prove me wrong. If if you if you I think like if no, I think he's onto something. I think that the spin of a neutron star is still going to create somewhat of an oblong shape to it. Maybe not entirely like, maybe not visually oblong, but measurably oblong. I think I actually watched that August Stark, um, but I didn't. I don't recall a part about. Um, the shape of a neutron star if they spin. Look how gorgeous that is. Chuck Norris benches a black hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You know, there's ridiculous and then there's that. <laughs> yeah. I want to let this go right to the end. I'm not, I'm not sure, camera. Cookie, because... Because if, like, if the, the 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 cores of the atoms, whatever they are, whatever molecules they are, are loose enough to shift around so they can form a perfect sphere, then they should also be loose enough to deform a little bit at least. I mean, it doesn't have to be much. It could be in the in the millionths of a percent in the shape. But if the if the thing is spinning. It should also deform, like, it's just how it works. But then again, you have to keep in mind that in relation to the gravity that affects them, um, they have a ridiculously small radius. It's only a few kilometers, uh, maybe a few ten kilometers. So even if they spin super fast, the actual surface velocity is not going to be as quick as maybe even the one of a big star that's spinning quite quickly. Not sure. 
the surface velocity would probably be much more because think of a uh, you know a skater who pulls their arms in they spin probably no no, no that's no what you're thinking about is the actual rotational velocity like yeah. the rotations per minute yeah those are usually higher on neutron stars right but if you would measure the the, the velocity the forwards the velocity on the surface like on the equator um it's probably not that extremely high because the radius is so so tiny in comparison to other stars who are absolutely huge. Like, as I said, I think the the, the average neutron star has like, I don't know, 10, 20 kilometers in radius or, or diameter. I'm not sure About anymore. About 20 to yeah. 30 kilometers, at, I'd say at most. Yeah. So in comparison to a star that's like many, probably even millions of kilometers across even bigger than that, and um, that's nothing. That's like negligible. So I'm, I'm not sure what what surface velocity would actually be faster. That's hmm. Might have to research a bit because I'm actually interested in that. I know Cookie wants me to drop so that he doesn't get the uh, do it the lines here. I'm gonna do that just for this one here. After I get this video, hang on one sec, because it's really cool with the neutron star in the back there. Okay, but before I do that, I'm gonna get a little bit further back so that we can get a slightly better shot for you here, Cookie. In Soviet Russia, gun fires you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but then again, that's uh, even 600 times a second, that's like, yeah, 600 hertz. That's not even that fast of a, fre of a frequency, if you think about it. And even if like a huge star only spins once every few minutes, the, if the radius is like a thousand or 10,000 times larger, or even more, even million times larger than the one of the neutron star, then that could, in my head, in my mind, it could equal out. Okay, let's go right here. We'll get a little closer. We're going to go for this last perfectly beautiful shot. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. <laughs> right about there stop engines <laughs> oh my god chat is off the rails <laughs> what happened oh what oh look at that there it is there it is Oh, there's a there's a pleasant explanation. If you would get two, if if you would get within a few thousand kilometers of a neutron star, first it would rip the iron out of your blood, then it would rip the electrons out of your atoms, then it would rip apart your atoms. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pleasant thought. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, because they have like ridiculously strong magnetic fields. So, I guess you have a point there. Do not get within a few thousand kilometers of a neutron star. Um, I made a video about neutron stars, actually. It's in one of my Exploring the Milky Way Galaxy. Yeah. I remember. I talk about what the neutron star would do to you. It's uh, ne never pleasant getting close to one, actually. Re really bad idea. Can we still fly through black holes? You can only fly through some black holes. Yeah, but is it still possible, or did they fix that? I have no idea. Because I, I remember flying through one. I was like a few meters away from it. <laughs> I never flew through a black hole. Although I had an idea for a video of doing that. You could go all... Um, what was the movie? You could go all interested on it. There you go, guys. There is your new desktop background for you. Oh, You're welcome. Beautiful. I love it when the rings start reflecting 
the star behind them a little bit. You know, there's a brighter spot in the rings. If they have an icy content, that's so cool. Um, you know what? I think because you don't want a desktop background with the uh, overlay on there. Let me go ahead and let you all do this. Why don't you just take a screenshot and post it in pretty pictures? That would fix it for everyone. I could do that. Efficiency for my friend. Efficiency. It's just I don't know where the screenshots save. That's like a weird for if you do it over Steam. I'm not if you do it over Steam. the game, then it's somewhere in the... Ugh, I don't my, even know. my other solution was not uh, not even really that complicated. I was just going to go add, <laughs> or use cookie. scene. <laughs> yeah, or Cookie could do that as well. Um, let's go game capture. Yes, Elite Dangerous. Okay. Properties. Specific Josh window. is so 2016. Aspen front of things is an old meme. <laughs> True that. Hey, where's the game? It's not even showing up here. Hold on. It saves on your Pix Elite folder. Pix Elite folder? No clue what folder that would be, but that's what August said. There you go. You have some by Cookie. Take those. Yeah, those are beautiful. Take cookies. There you go. Don't don't listen to me. I have no real reason to do this. Josh but, knows uh, nothing. I will remove scene two from my editor. And with that, I think I will switch right back over to here and say thank you very much, guys, for joining in on this live stream. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, for all of you in the chat, thanks so much for uh, taking part in an Elite Dangerous live stream, which I haven't done in quite some time. Hope to see you guys all on the broadcast on Saturday, sometime in the morning, Eastern time. I'll be streaming Diablo, and I'm sure that Grey Test will probably want to join me for that. When? Uh, so, for now, I will say peace, adieu, see you later, and goodbye. This is... Oh, and Grey Test, thanks for joining in of course as usual you're welcome commander josh hawkins signing Au revoir. off